So I have one of these winches in a box, no instructions. I'm gonna have a look around, see if I can find something to mount it to, so I can uh, connect it to my truck. Stay with me. I'm gonna be able to find something here I can use. Still use that on occasion. This. I've already cut the hell out of it. I was using that in my tractor. But I think that's a possibility. Here's the other part of it. I think together we can make that happen. One way or the other. Okay. I'm going to take this winch. Mounted to a trailer hitch. Winch to a hitch. Almost rang. Almost. Don't think it's going to be a big deal. We're basically going to be doing this. Doesn't really want to line up, does it? I want to make this easy. Neither has to sit this way. Sit this way. If it sits this way, it's going to mount on that. That's actually a better idea. Let's mount it on this. Awesome. Awesome idea. The guy who thought of that is genius. Okay. First things first, we're going to find a drill bit. Fit. I want it basically the same size as that hole. Yeah, this one. Perfect. Okay. I want to I want to actually clamp this to the table just for rigidity's sake. You want everything to be safe, so clamping it, stopping everything from moving if you can, is the best bet. I want to clamp it almost directly underneath where the pressure is going to be. Right there. See, when everything is clamped and rigid, and solid together. Drilling is very easy. Everything goes very easily, very smoothly, and straight through the part. There's no binding, there's no any of that kind of nonsense. This is exactly what I want. Make a good mark there. Let's see now what we can do. Tighten these up. So that everything is all one piece. You know, I think that's going to work. It's going to go right in the trailer hitch. Should be okay. All right. Oh, let's have a better look at that. So I got the winch attached to the hitch. I wired it up here in like the control box. I just, uh, just strapped it down with some wire ties. I'm going to trim up some of those. Like that it is when it goes in it's gonna sit in this position so that everything will get pulled into the bottom I've never used this so I don't even know if it works 
it was new in the box. Well, basically new in the box. It was used once and uh, never used again. So I'm going to try it. I'm going to put it on the truck and gonna hook it up and see what happens. I got this with no instructions, nothing of the sort, but the only thing that I needed to do was figure out why this little loose red wire was hanging out, and that's the power solenoid switch to change the direction of the motor. That's all that that does. So I just simply gave it 12 volts right off of here. And this is a 15 amp fuse that, that's put in line. And so it's going from the battery through the fuse and the 15 amp fuse is protecting the circuitry inside here as well as the actual motor. So I think I got it. I think I figured it all out. Ain't gonna be too tough. So we're gonna put that on the truck. The way I want it? Yes, I do. I want it to roll from the bottom out. So, slide that in, put the pin in. Everything seems to be working out just rosy. So, if this works so, so that I'm going to be using it a lot, then I'm actually going to run permanent wire down and wire this all up. But for now, I'm just going to put it on for booster cables. Black on the black, it's run up to the car. Red on the red. Now look at this. This one says out. It works. Ah, I knew it would work. Didn't expect it not to. Heck, bloody thing works. I love it when a plan comes together. Yeah, if this is the kind of stuff that you guys are, are into, well then, like this video and subscribe. Share it. Share it with your friends.